In this tutorial, I want to show you how to properly back up your WordPress blog before you upgrade in order to make sure that you have a good backup that you can restore from uh, in case something happens during the upgrade process. Every time WordPress puts out a new release, if you look in the forums, you see people posting about having problems after upgrade. For example, if we look in the forums today, not able to upload pics after upgrade to 3.3, error after upgrading, error while upgrading, fatal error upgrading to 3.3, after 3.3 upgrade all sites have crashed. If you scroll down through here there are just dozens of these uh, calls for help because people have logged in, they've gone into the admin section of WordPress, they pressed upgrade and then something happened. And even though that auto upgrade is really nice, if you're hosted on a really good server that has good server resources, that's not set to time out real fast and so forth, that it will work 99% of the time. But if you're on a shared hosting site and you don't have a lot of processing speed or the, the host has the site set to time out quick, the upgrade could get interrupted or a host of other problems could happen that causes you issues. Uh, for example, here's a post today that the individual upgraded five sites uh, to 3.3 and now they get 500 internal server error. So I'm not really sure how this happened to five sites. It seems like after you upgraded one and you got the problem you'd stop, but uh, it's a real annoyance for a lot of people. So really the lesson here is that you need to make sure you have a really good backup so that you can recover in case something like this happens. So the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to take that backup. To show you how to do that we'll upgrade LDoom here just using the built-in upgrade feature, but before I do that I'm going to make sure I have a good backup to recover in case something goes wrong. So when I log into my site and go to admin, I notice 3.3 is out and ready to update. Before I update, I need to do a few things in backup. And essentially what I need to do, I need to make sure I have a good backup of my WP content folder. Uh, I'll back up my WP config file just in case there's some important information. I'll back up my HD access file and then the database. If I have a good backup of these things at a minimum, then I'll be able to recover from anything that might happen during the upgrade. And if nothing happens, then no harm. Uh, I can just delete these and keep on going. So how do I get a backup of those things? The first three are in my WP files, uh, these here. So we'll go to the file structure and back those up. And then here I need to go to the database to take a backup of the database. So let's do the files first. Uh, you need to get to your file structure in WordPress however you do that. So if your host has a hosting control panel like cPanel or some other hosting control panel that will allow you to log in and has a file manager, then you may be able to log directly into your site and go into the file manager like I'm doing here in cPanel and get access to those three things that you need backed up. So we'll do it first in cPanel. Here I want my WP content folder or directory and that directory has subdirectories in it so if I were to click on it you'll see all the sub items in it. So I just want to back up the main WP content. So I'm going to select it. I want to back up my HT access. Hold down the control key, select that and I want to back up WP config. So I'm going to select that one. I select all three of them and the easiest way to back them up and get a copy down on my local computer is to compress them. So I'm going to click compress. I'll just leave it named WP content. It doesn't matter. It's still going to contain all three of those things. That's just going to be the name of the zip file. And you can make it a zip, a tar, whatever. We'll just go ahead and make it a zip. It's small. And we're going to compress those. So essentially what I've done is I've just created a zip called WP content. It zipped those three things up right here in my file structure uh, on the server. So now that those are zipped, I'm going to download them. Just clicking download here. I'll download that to my computer. Now once the download's complete, and I know I have that safely downloaded to my computer, here, I see it, then I'll delete the zip file from the web server. Make sure you do that, because if you don't, if you leave that setting uh, on your server, then someone could easily download that and have all the information they need to hack into your blog. Uh, because that WP config file is in there and you don't want anyone to have access to that. So uh, once you've downloaded it, delete it off of your computer, the zip. So now I have a good backup of the first three things here, the WP content, the config, and the HT access. Now if you don't have a control panel, you can do the same thing through FTP. 
so if that's how you get to your site, uh, let me just demo here. I use WinSCP as my FTP client. It's really simple and it just provides a Windows-like uh, file manager. But you could use any FTP client that you have, uh, FileZilla, Qt FTP, whatever. Uh, but just to demonstrate, you probably already know how to do this. Uh, just log into your FTP client, go into your file structure, and find those same files. So if I wanted to back up those files through FTP, I may log in and just create me a temporary place on my computer somewhere to put them, and then come in and grab the WP content and FTP or drag it down, however your FTP client does that. Now I'm going to let I'm not going to let that continue. It just takes a lot longer to FTP, so I'm going to cancel that out. But you get the idea uh, here. Just as a demo, I'll take this um, WP config. If I drag it down, same process. So there I have my WP config backed up. Now I have my files. The next thing I need to do is get the database. There's a couple ways, uh, several ways to get the database. But let me just demo a couple here. Uh, if you have a control panel again or your web host gives you access to PHP my admin and that's the best way to get your database so if you have cPanel just go to your PHP my admin through cPanel or whatever means your host gives you getting to PHP my admin select your database uh, just a word of caution here don't ever show anyone the level of detail I'm showing here there's no reason for me to show the database and the prefix I have here. Uh, I'm not really worried about anyone hacking into this blog. They're not going to be able to do it anyway, but uh, it's not a good idea to show this. So just a word of caution there. But select your database. If you don't know what your database is, look in your, your config file and you'll see uh, if you have more than one database. For example, I have a couple here. So if you're not sure which one belongs to your blog, just open that config file. Just open it in a text editor and it will show you the database name here. So the database name is LDOOM. Uh, so when I come in here to PHP my admin, I know LDOOM is the database I want to download. It's not the mblog one. So select your database, uh, click on export, and this is the newer version of PHP my admin. I'm just going to leave it at quick, and I want SQL format, click go, and save the file. Once that database is downloaded, then you have everything you need in order to recover should you uh, have some kind of a crash or something happen during upgrade. Now, if you don't have access to PHP My Admin through your host or not, you're not sure how to get there, there's another easy way. WordPress has a neat plug-in for that as well. So if you just go to your blog that you're upgrading and go to Plugins and Add New and just here search for PHP My Admin. You'll find a portable PHP My Admin uh, that you can download and do the same thing from within WordPress. I've already downloaded this, uh, but if you look, uh, it's compatible up to the latest version of WordPress here. When you download this plugin and activate it, then you'll have a portable uh, PMA here in your admin area. Click on that. I have everything here that I had as logging in through cPanel. So I could select my database, and here this works just a little bit differently than what you saw in cPanel. It's uh, an older version of PHP My Admin, I believe. So anyway, select your database, uh, click Export, and here you'll just get a few more options by default. So here, make sure that all your tables are selected. They usually are by default, but if not, just click Select All. Make sure you have SQL selected. Save as a file. Leave everything else set to the default values and click Go and then it will download that database uh, to your computer when you click OK. okay. So once you've done that then you have everything you need in order to upgrade. Now you can confidently press the please update now link here and go ahead and click update now and auto update WordPress. And if you have a problem or an issue that you can't get fixed after the upgrade happens uh, then you have what you need in order to recover. Now some people recommend that you go in and you disable all plugins before you upgrade and so forth. And I used to recommend that, but quite frankly I've upgraded dozens and dozens of blogs over the past couple of years. And I pretty much just skipped the step of disabling plugins. 99% of the time everything goes fine. 
if you have a good backup, if you do have a problem, then uh, you have a way to recover if you have to. But most of the time, even if you have a problem caused by a plug-in, you can get in and fix it in the upgrade without having to uh, restore your original. Uh, so that's what I'd recommend is that you don't press that auto upgrade until you make sure you have as a minimum these four items backed up on your computer. If you have those, then you can recover from anything that might happen uh, during a botched upgrade.